and uh, many college dollars. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and my mom and my sister, I'm, I'm not the easiest person. If you guys know me, I'm not the easiest person. So, so thank you. And, um, I hope to continue and nurture this relationship. So thank you again. And uh, my uh, groomsmen, I could have uh, not done it without you. And for the most part, I've known you guys for the most of my life. And uh, I feel very blessed. But very blessed, and I hope to continue that uh, friendship. And even though we're not related by blood, you guys are like brothers to me. So thank you. And I'm, I'm sure uh, Betty feels the same way about her bridesmaids. But thank you all. And um, most of all, I would like to thank my uh, beautiful new bride. Uh, she planned all of this. I, was pretty <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I did put in some money. But... <laughs> Years. I mean, you know us. We've been engaged for two years. It took two years to plan this, but um, I, I know I have my Larry David moments where I'm very neurotic, and she's been with that for actually ten years, and thus we are here. So thank you very much, and I love you. And uh, you know, I mean, hopefully, whatever cool it I, I give, I've given you doesn't wear off. So thank you. Well, up next, we'd like to invite our best man, John, up. Let's go, John. Round of applause, too. I'm gonna cover my ear, guys. <laughs> well, what can you say about a man who's brimming with intelligence, wit, and charm? A man who's well regarded in the community by his colleagues, his friends, and his superiors? A man who, simply put, is every woman's dream. <laughs> but hey, that's enough about the best man. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Wayne. What? <laughs> I've known Wayne for 20 years, so I can go on and on about all the attributes that'll make him such a great husband, and those that won't. But uh, I don't, I don't want to bore you to death. What I do want to share with you is the story of how Wayne and Betty got together. You see, during the senior year of our high school, Wayne had this massive crush on Betty, <laughs> and he went to great lengths to try to impress her. Um, he pretty much pulled every trick out of the book, except I don't know where he got that book. <laughs> <laughs> he did some really silly things, all right? He, he did some really obsessive things. He'd write her these love notes. He'd give her little bead bracelets. He'd, uh, he'd, he'd, he'd compile love songs to you. <laughs> and he'd even do little things like kiss her on the cheek and run away afterwards. <laughs> 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 but uh, I think Betty eventually softened up and she decided to give him a chance. So wait, hold on. It wasn't my good looks? Uh, <laughs> no, that was a good joke. <laughs> so she decided to give him a chance. Probably for fear of her own safety, actually. <laughs> so, so whatever the reason, um, she didn't look back. And here they are today, such a happy, loving couple. <laughs> <laughs> Choking. But, but, in all, but, but in all honesty, I can't attest to any of those details. You see, Wayne and I had a falling out during our ninth grade. Um, we didn't talk for three years. We actually argued about something really, really stupid, and we were both so, so stubborn that we, none of us could actually um, apologize and actually take, take blame and ownership for what we did when we were really both probably a fault. And if it wasn't for Betty's intervention, I probably wouldn't be up here today. And actually, a week before graduation, Betty approached me and said two things. She said, one, you're a moron. <laughs> and two, Wayne's really, 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 um, he's really sad about what happened. He wants to apologize to you. And I thought, well, it's about damn time, Wayne. <laughs> 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 and so, um, so one afternoon, Wayne, Wayne uh, followed me into Yum Yum Donuts. <laughs> like the stalker that he is, <laughs> and he and he proceeded to apologize. And he and, and guys, believe me, this was the most awkward moment I've ever had in, in my life, and I've had some pretty awkward moments. But um, you know, we couldn't look each other in the eye. You know, we couldn't. I kind of had my back towards him, and, and I didn't know whether to give him a man hug afterwards. It was, it was awkward. But um, but we got through it. We got our friendship back on track. Um, but, but if it wasn't for, for Betty and her stepping in and, and waiting for being the bigger man, I probably wouldn't be up here today. So for that, I'm very, very grateful. And that's why I respect him so much. And, and speaking of respect, I really would like to take this opportunity to thank the, the parents of both Wayne and Betty for raising such, such awesome kids and, and blessing us with their friendship. So please, a round of applause for the, for the parents. But 
but I can't stand up here preaching about what love is and what love isn't because I, I really don't have a clue. Um, <laughs> but what I do know is that, that, that their love is an inspiration to me and I hope one day I'll, I'll find that special love that they have. I, I do think that one of the ingredients for, for their success is, is the fact that they continue to nurture each other and help each other grow throughout the years. Um, you know, Wayne encourages Betty in the pursuit of her ambitions, uh, not the least of which is writing. Guys, Betty is a brilliant writer. I mean, she writes about things that I can't even comprehend. And, and in turn, Betty encourages Wayne in the pursuit of his ambitions and, and, his, and his crazy business ideas, <laughs> none of which I want to share today because they're probably not appropriate. <laughs> um, but all jokes aside, I think they're both I think they're both incredible people and I think they're gonna go on to raise an incredible family and raise some some well grounded children. So with that I'd like to propose a toast to Wayne and Betty. And may they never cease to amaze each other and the rest of us. Cheers. 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 Cheers.